Hello. I'm going to talk to you about two-dimensional design principles. This is about the visual language. The visual language varies in many things, many ways. Two-dimensional design is really about making sense of the world through visuals. Well, the, its origins can be traced back to early art movements in Europe and Asia. Visual arrangements are done to make communications effective, powerful in the world of visual arts. So what is it really about? It's about arrangement. So I'm going to start off um, this video's series of videos. We're going to talk about the main principles and the support principles for two-dimensional design principles. So what are they? They just help you compose really, really good designs. doesn't matter which kind of design industry you're from but this gives you um, a basic overview of what layout really means whether it's three-dimensional layout or two-dimensional layout so um, it first consists of the design elements what are the design elements the design elements are dot line texture value form and color now, line, design elements consist of lines, yeah, anything, anything that's lines is basically the des basic design element. Lines are very important, you can do many things with lines, yeah, and it also, and also texture, texture, texture is very, very important. You, you need texture. You can find texture from anywhere. You can find texture from roots. For example, like if you really zoom in closer into, into roots and stuff like that, you could find really interesting texture. And even on the surfaces of, of trees, these are textures too. Now you can find textures uh, even in other materials. Um, even like like feathers you know you can find textures in feathers and you can even find textures even from a piece of sponge yeah so there's, there's no limit to where you can find textures textures are very important this, this board I have here it's, it's plywood and you can feel it's, it's kind of coarse if I turn it around you see a wooden surface and that's texture too yeah and so the other thing is um, the sense of value, shape, shape, shape is shape is very important, and shape. If if you put a shape, yeah, you could see any kind of something that's cut clear, a silhouette, yeah, any object that gives very strong shape. So this is the basic element. Anything, anything has shapes. Um, all kinds of things have shapes. You put it against a contrasting background, you would be able to see lots of shapes, even rocks. You know, you can see shapes very clearly. So, what else can you see as shapes? Anything you have, um, a paintbrush, or any kind of object that comes to mind, you put it on a contrasting background, it brings out the shape. When I say shape, it means shape. Yeah? We'll talk about shapes later, but we're going to be using shapes a lot to actually give you an overview of that. But what about form? Form is three-dimensional. Um, if you look at this, this, if you put it this way, you can see the three-dimensional um, form. Shape. Shape is just the two-dimensional version of uh, this. But form is the three-dimensional. You could see its cylindrical form. You could see, uh, the sh you know, how it's 3D. So you, it, it's it's tangible. It's you could feel all around it. So that's form. It gives the overall form. And what about color? Well, color is fairly simple to understand. Anything anything that has 
colors is a manipulation of colors and hues. Uh, you could you could use colors for different purposes. Um, of this, you know, color. You know, this is the Malaysian flag, for example. That's color. Right. So. Okay. So now that's the basic elements of design. 